Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from Garden Equipment Review. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today we're looking at the Melfield 1530H. The H stands for hydrostatic and there's an M that's manual. We'll probably look at the manual one probably tomorrow or in the next few days. Very similar. But this machine is a hydrostatic machine. I would always recommend a hydrostatic machine over a gearbox. So let's just have a look at a um, few things here first. So the price of this machine is £2,149. Currently um, there's a saving of £100. It, it's quite quite a new machine out from Mountfield. Now the Mountfield brand's been out almost 50 years. I remember it from when I was a child and uh, always thought if someone had a Mountfield mower they had quite a quality machine. And, and some of these machines are still in use now. Some of the like uh, M3 walk behind machines. They, they were solidly built, but certainly this um, seems to offer quite a bit for the money. So let's um, let, let's take a, take a look at some of the features. Just just for your interest, although I you know I've been working with garden machinery all my life. I was using it as a as a boy, as a teenager, and I've had my own landscaping businesses and so forth. So I built up quite a bit of knowledge. I don't claim to know everything. Um, but, but I've, I've built up a reasonable amount of knowledge to sort of help to guide people. So if you treat it, treat this more of a guide rather than a review, um, these are only my thoughts. Um, please feel free to comment either below this video or in this YouTube video. So apparently this is a, this lawnmower in the deck here, but there's two blades rather than one. In fact, I've got a, a little photograph of it. So there's two here um, side by side to counter rotate and obviously the blades overlap but because they're offset they uh, obviously don't hit each other and then the, the blade the, the blades blow the grass through this chute um, into the grass bag so it's quite an efficient way um, it was, you know what you want to avoid long tubes some mowers have to, in fact there's two things to avoid long tubes that come out of here um, and blow the grass into the grass bag they always clock even in dry weather you might get a twig go up there and that will create a cl uh, clogging and the grass is wet and not normally very efficient so cutting the grass, sorry collecting the grass um, through the middle, through the back of the deck, straight in the bag is a, is a, is a good way you can get uh, mowers with brush, brushes on the back that uh, collect the grass, that's not a bad way too but so certainly this is quite, quite a good way and also Another important thing is this: this can be opened. This box can be emptied from the operator's seat. There's some manufacturers put two or three bags on the back. I, I do not see the point of this. How to leave, get off your seat, and leave the machine and empty bags when you can do it from the driver's seat? It, it's, it's too consigned, too time-consuming, and defeats the object of having to ride on the mower. So, gone slightly off track, but let's go down to the uh, the features here. So, uh, as Mountford claimed, it's a totally original lawnmower with the two with the two blades, as I just pointed out. It's a twin blade cutting deck, as we mentioned. You're going to get a smoother cutting action and a better cut, rather than having just one blade. So that, that's a good plus point. Um, it's powered by Mountfield 11 horsepower engine, um, which has a cast iron engine liner, which is um, it, it obviously in the bore, and uh, it helps to give longer life, which is good. Hydrostatic drive for optimum efficiency and maneuverability. I mentioned um, that hydrostatic drive. And most, <coughs> excuse me, most machines have hydrostatic drive today. A few of them have have a gearbox drive. But basically, it's almost like an automatic car. You've just got a lever for forward and reverse, and the further you put your foot down or push the lever forward, um, you've got variable speed in forward and reverse. It, it it's great for lawnmowers. I I wouldn't buy a lawnmower with a manual gearbox despite the price I'd only have a hydrostatic and like I say this is there is one a machine a manual machine which is slightly cheaper but to me it's not not worth it and I can guarantee that if you had a test drive on the hydrostatic or the manual you'd definitely go for the hydrostatic so uh, so there's no gear changes as I mentioned with the hydrostatic one um, it's easy mounting and dismounting. Some mowers have levers and things in the way, but um, this one you just walk right on and sit down, which is good. Uh, there's an electric blade clutch that um, 
drives the drives the cutting deck. Um, just be careful. Most cutting decks you can you can engage the clutch on tick over. Don't don't uh, rev the engine and snatch the clutch in because it only puts wear on the clutch and snatches the belts in. So just just take care when if you've got a machine with an electric clutch. Um, excellent grass collection as we've kind of talked about. Uh, Two hundred four. Litre collection bag, which is good. That's got quite, quite a quite a good good size. The average sort of walk, large walk behind mower has about a seventy litre bag, so that's uh, what it, three times plus as big, um, for, uh, four times. So fairly um, fairly good size. Um, there's a full grass bag alert along, <coughs> so when your bag's full, um, empty it. Far easier to empty it before it clogs. Um, so we'll make sure and empty it immediately as soon as you hear that alarm. Um, empty the collector from the operator's seat, as we mentioned. Now there is a uh, a twin nozzle uh, cutter deck wash system, so you can attach your hose, start up the the cutter deck, and uh, they'll clean your decks out, which is um, they can get kind of clogged up with grass. So it's a great way every now and then to keep the cutting deck clean. And in the winter time, I would do that before you put it away, and then I'd also spray oil on the, on the bottom to, to preserve your deck. Um, headlights, if you want headlights, I have no desire to cut grass in the dark, but they are there. Um, but there's also an optional mulch plug and tow bar. Um, mulch plug, mulching takes a lot of power, and mulching's good. Um, but I, I, my guess would be that this would probably operate. Better as a collect, you know, to collect the grass as as it stands. Um, the mulching really just put a lot of strain on machines, and I think often you're better to buy a machine that's designed to mulch rather than an added extra. But technology is going to get better all the time, so maybe worth looking at. And finally, we've got the five-year peace of mind warranty. Five years to me that says something. Obviously, um, Mountfield like. Trust their machines. So if you've got five years with no costs, that, um, that's, that's to me that's probably one. That and hydrostatic transmission is probably the two biggest plus points. So uh, I've put my eBay link here just in case you want to search eBay for machines. Um, I've also got more lawn tractors on our website if you um, want to view some of them. But certainly with a five-year warranty, not not a bad buy. In, uh, in my mind. So thanks for watching. Please feel free to leave any questions at the foot of this. Um, just uh, down here we've got a comment box um, and then um, I'm going to embed this video into YouTube and uh, in here somewhere. So uh, please feel free to like our channel and comment on there. Thanks for watching.